India. Every time I come here, the country looks more and more like a nation that means business. A country that's growing from strength to strength. But when it comes to health and healthcare, it appears that we are in need of some urgent remedies. India is facing double burden of the diseases. On one side, communicable diseases are reducing, but on the other side, new communicable diseases are coming up. India is now known as diabetic capital in the world. Every third or fourth person is suffering from hypertension. We have doctors and hospitals at par with the best in the world. But they appear to be out of reach for millions of people. There are uh, an estimated 85,000 doctors in the public sector. But at any given time, there are only 26,000 doctors. To cater to the needs of something like 800, 850 million population. In the country, we have to do it. 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 We Across India, there are so many people working towards an equitable healthcare system, using innovative approaches to reach quality healthcare to the poor. And yet, they are not adding up to be a viable force. Innovation doesn't you know, just mean doing something in a lab. So, I think the biggest innovation is, you know, once you take the innovation out of the lab, you face a lot of challenges. Hey, we don't need funds from the government. We just need the networks and their, you know, uh, infrastructure so that they let us in and try out these tools with them. Technology development or solution development is a long process. It's a complex journey which requires teams and which requires partners. The government rolls out schemes. Uh, innovators are struggling in their own cocoons or bringing out healthcare innovations. Investors are investing in some of the ones that they feel which can scale. But nobody's thinking together. The more people I meet, the more I am convinced that innovative solutions can help us address our healthcare challenges. What's needed is an environment that encourages this ingenuity and leverages its potential. Healthcare is one area where uh, there are large unmet needs and there is a scope for large innovation which is possible particularly in India. I'm an advocate of using whatever resources that are there and marshalling those resources in such a way that we can address the challenge in the healthcare space. I realized that if we want to make a real, sustainable difference to the state of healthcare in India, we must create an ecosystem that incubates, supports, and scales up new ideas. And that was the genesis of WISH. At WISH, we find the most promising healthcare innovators and we help them to scale up. We demonstrate how to make innovations work at the ground level and how to scale them up. We create a knowledge hub, provide a free flow of information to innovators. We build an ecosystem to help innovators connect and collaborate. I think it's a great vision, if you ask me. Finally, it is all about making a difference. And you don't make a difference unless you have a big impact. And that impact can come through the speed, scale, and sustainability. Wish, I wish, achieves this particular objective. Ultimately, wish is about fulfilling the most fundamental desires of people, health and happiness. <laughs>